Well, the National Security Advisory Committee, that's NSAC, has dismissed claims by IBC Chairperson Wafula Chebukati that they attempted to influence the outcome of the presidential election in favor of Azimulo Moja candidate Raila Odinga, while admitting that they met IBC Chairman Wafula Chebukati together with the IBC commissioners. The committee, in their replying affidavit by the head of public service, Joseph Kinyo, has said that their meeting was purely on security as they were concerned over the anxiety that was building up in parts of the country occasioned by the delay in the transmission and declaration of the election's outcome. And as Chemutai Goin now reports, Kinyua termed the claims by Chebukati and the commissioners as sensational. Through the affidavit filed from the state law office, the representatives of the country's top security organ urged the court to allow them to defend themselves against the allegations that they sought to tinker with the outcome of the August 9th presidential election to favor Raila Odinga by either declaring him victor or forcing a runoff by altering the figures to deny the presidential candidates the 50% plus one threshold needed for a round one victory. Chebukati together with Commissioners Professor Abdi Yakub Gulie and Boyamolu had in their sworn affidavit claimed that hours before the declaration of the outcome of the election, a delegation from the National Advisory Security Council comprising Principal Administrative Secretary in the Office of the President Kennedy Kihara, Solicitor General Kennedy Ogeto, Inspector General of Police Hilary Mutiambai and Lieutenant General Francis Ogola visited them at Bomas warning them that a declaration against Sodenga would plunge the country into chaos. NSAC admits to having had a meeting with the IEBC team and that the agenda of the meeting was to discuss security implications surrounding delays in the transmission, tallying, verification and declaration of the results of the presidential election. Kenya goes on to dispute Chebukati and team's claim that the meeting was planned to influence the outcome of the hotly contested election. He further of us that if they had sinister intentions, as claimed by the IEBC team, they would have not held a meeting in a public location such as Bomas of Kenya with all the commissioners present. While expressing concerns that the claims had cast damaging aspersions on a critical government institution, the committee revealed that they had received intelligence reports that the delays in declaring the results worsened by the fact that the public display of the results had been stopped, had generated panic and anxiety that would have precipitated into chaos, and that they implored IEBC to fast track the process to cool temperatures and issue IEBC gave a Insurance on. Defending the government officials, Kenya revisited the NSAC briefing held a day after William Ruto was declared president elect, saying their message was testament that they had no preference over who would be the country's fifth president. Call on all Kenyans and the business community to resume their normal daily activities and get back to the business of building our great nation. With questions arising on why the senior security officials were at the bombers of Kenya, NSAC says their attempts to reach Chibukati to agree to a meeting had gone unanswered, hence the decision to hold a physical meeting. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV, Nairobi.